are you getting tired to wait for your uh, notification to pop up to see if you got uh, the latest hyper os on your uh, xiaomi 15 ultra well there is a workaround that uh, will enable you to get the latest and greatest from xiaomi in terms of software as you can see i have it already installed on my uh, 15 ultra and uh, i'm going to show you what you need to do in order for you to get your hands on HyperOS 3.0, which is Android 16 for Xiaomi 15 Ultra and other Xiaomi Poco devices also. So the first thing that you need to do, let me go ahead and show you. This is actually a, a very huge change log. You got a lot of uh, things that are changed compared to HyperOS 2.0. You need to go to your uh, device settings go ahead and check for a region and select your region because i'm based in europe in romania i didn't get the update i was uh, checking every single day a couple of uh, times every day and no update was available therefore i decided to change the region and i saw a video from an american spanish uh, talking youtuber that said that if you change the region to morocco you're gonna get the update unfortunately this didn't work for me therefore i decided to think a bit out of the box and uh, i decided to try to figure out on my own but without uh, having to go to every single region and i thought what is uh, one of the biggest markets for xiaomi devices and that's how i ended up with india so yeah go ahead type india on your region select india apply it to the system and afterwards reboot your device your xiaomi or a poco device after you reboot the device and you have india selected as uh, your region come back to the updater click on the os version and you're gonna get the update it's a huge update 8.9 gigabytes in terms of uh, memory therefore make sure that you have enough memory on your device and also make sure that you back up your data and your battery is above 50 percent as you can see i have it it's uh, 3.0.3.0 from what i've heard they've uh, already released 3.1 hyper os 3.1 there are some changes in terms of icons with this update but the most uh, interesting things for me were in the camera department where i had some issues with um, changing the lenses i had some very very huge issues when uh, switching from uh, the main sensor to the primary telephoto and also to the secondary telephoto there was um, a bit of lag there was a very in and out uh, annoying animation uh, it was uh, focus hunting and also it always waited about uh, half a second more to render the exact colors as you can see right now on uh, 15 ultra this issue has been a bit fixed it isn't uh, perfect but still it's better than what it was before also no changes in terms of uh, 8k video recording it's abysmal to say the least it uh, has no candle compared to a uh, samsung device that records 8k also lag video seems to be a bit improved in terms of uh, the exposure and white balance with this update on the 15 ultra compared to the older uh, hyper os 2.0 but um, i think there is a lot of room for improvement when it comes to the camera department you have the menus uh, changed a bit um, let me go into the settings as you can see they look a bit different but not uh, something uh, spectacular compared to the previous version overall it's a good update they've uh, implemented a different compiler for the software making uh, battery life better they uh, changed some uh, system icons some uh, system apps for example the gallery app as you can see right here has a different look but uh, the few colors in the notification bar but uh, it looks pretty much uh, the same what i was most interested in was when you exchange lenses in the camera 
Unfortunately, you cannot uh, change the lenses when um, shooting lag video, as you can do on Samsung devices. You need to choose or to pick a lens before you start recording. You can only use this uh, feature when uh, using the regular camera recording or when shooting Dolby Vision format. Unfortunately, you cannot use it when uh, you shoot lag, and this is a uh, very big issue for me. I was really hoping for Xiaomi to fix this thing, because it's uh, only a software thing that uh, they could have easily implemented with this update. Unfortunately, they decided not to do it. So, uh, yeah, and also, talking about the ultra-wide lens this time around, when shooting video in low light, this time around, actually, the footage is usable, compared to the older HyperOS variant. So, as you can see, it's uh, smoother than it was. I also tested the device after uh, I installed the update, and things uh, do look improved. Stabilization also seems to be a lot better compared to the older uh, OS variant, but uh, a lot of the things that uh, I didn't like regarding this device are still present, and uh, unfortunately, I don't really understand why Xiaomi is uh, crippling its own device in uh, such a way and doesn't uh, unlock the full potential that this hardware is actually capable of. Because this has to be one of the best hardware when it comes to cameras out there on the market. Yeah, would have loved to see actually the bitrate in a lag video a bit higher, not uh, what we usually get with the uh, 15 Ultra, which is 33 megabytes per second, which is quite low, to be honest. Would have loved to have uh, the possibility to change lenses throughout lag uh, video recording. Would have loved to see 8K video recording working actually great. And um, for the sake of um, this video, let me show what I mean by 8K video recording, especially in terms of stabilization, because that's my biggest problem. Also, the image is extremely, extremely overprocessed. A lot of contrast, uh, super saturated in terms of color. Basically, uh, everything is wrong with 8K video recording compared with uh, 4K at uh, 30, 60 or uh, 120 FPS. And uh, especially compared to the Samsung S25 Ultra, which is recording this video, well, the differences are... Uh, are major. I honestly don't know where stabilization is in 8K video recording with the Xiaomi 15 Ultra. And again, if you put it side by side to a uh, S25 Ultra, you're gonna see the huge, huge differences. Everything is wrong in terms of image, and in terms of colors, in terms of uh, highlights, in terms of shadows, in terms of contrast, in terms of um, the optical stabilization, which is completely missing, to be honest. And uh, yeah, it's basically unusable footage. Mind you, I'm just showing it to you right now on uh, my smartphone, but I've watched this uh, recording on a uh, huge 78-inch display. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why Xiaomi is doing this, but uh, it's their problem. They need to fix it if they uh, truly want to provide the users a uh, great experience. When it comes to 4K, everything is um, amazing. I love the focusing of this uh, camera setup. I love um, the details. I love the zoom capabilities. I love everything about it. Photo is absolutely amazing with the 15 Ultra. But uh, when it comes to those, uh, let's say, more professional things that you need from an Ultra device, that's when you see that this device actually suffers quite a lot, especially compared with other ultra devices out there on the market yeah this pretty much does it for this video guys uh, as always thank you for watching thank you for your attention i'm gonna see you in the next one be safe be good peace